This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is a 9 volt AC transformer at 800 milliamps, which is almost nothing. And those are rare earth magnets, very powerful magnets, each one of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are nine of them here. What we're trying to do is reproduce the same effect that we got off of the 12 volt DC battery. I'm running this AC through the plates the same way I ran them through the plates before. So we're going from one side of this magnet through to the plates, through the electrolyte, back out the other end, and back into the transformer. The idea is, if this is electricity, then the voltage shouldn't make any difference whatsoever. Electricity flows over the wire. That means we should be able to pre reproduce this effect. I call it zero field for short, OK? We'll call it zero field from now on. We should be able to produce zero field with any amount of voltage. If you slow down the video 100, you'll note that the zero field is going out from the magnet, not going from magnet to magnet. If it's going through the field, meaning out and around, that would be great. Then we'd have some kind of energy going around the system. The problem is here, or the question is, why isn't there any voltage going through it? And why in video 100 was there voltage going through it in the beginning and then no voltage later? At this point, I haven't been able to reproduce the zero field. But keep watching. What I'm doing here, and you can't see it, I'm trying to, I've got a lead, and I put on both sides of the magnets. So if there is some kind of effect going on, I might be able to neutralize it. I'm just trying everything. Now we've got it back again, and we'll try it again. We're running that 9 volts AC through it, but evidently not. Still haven't been able to reproduce this effect. You can see I'm putting every combination I can in here. I want to warn you, so you don't get bored, that you will see it. What I'm doing here is testing more theory to see what happens. We've got two magnets here. Remember, in a magnetic field, the one on the left is going to be either north or south. The one on the right is going to be opposite. They're going to be separate but together. That's why I keep switching the leads. If voltage travels from one to the other, then by switching the leads, I should have the right system and the voltage, if I can run it through there, should run through. We're not trying to test for voltage right now. We're trying to recreate the zero field effect. There you see it. Did you see that? Frame zero to three. What the heck was that? And why now? What I'm doing now is trying to take the supposition a little bit further if it it's actually following the field, which everyone's going to say, then it should go around this piece of plastic. 
The magnets are on both sides, and we plug it in, and guess what? It doesn't. And we're reversing the leads. The same idea that maybe by reversing the leads, the electricity will continue. But actually, the electricity doesn't follow the path of the voltage, so that shouldn't matter. And it doesn't. Remember, this is only 9 volts AC at 800 milliamps, if that. Now watch closely. Watch closely. Did you see that? Probably if I turned the light out, we'd see a lot more. It's not going around. I don't know what it's doing. Let's do it again. This is just a re-splice of the system, so we'll see it again. There. Do you see that? What is it? I call it zero field, but it's not following the magnetic flux because otherwise it would go around the plastic. And here we're going to see it again. I don't know what it is. But if you don't mind, we'll call it zero field. So at least we have something to talk it about.